So you, right after you graduated, you came back to, to L.A.? I came back to L.A. I lived on my dad's couch for six months. Oh, your, like, dad, your family had moved back? Yeah, my dad had a little apartment in Santa Monica. Oh, nice. um, so I was on his couch. I like worked you know, the various host waiter jobs to survive. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, I was a host at P.F. Chang's. It was... Oh! It was, uh, a, it was trying. Um, the one on the promenade. That's the one. Nice. Yep. That was that. That paid my paid my way while I lived in my dad's apartment. For that's six incredible. Months. Yeah. So I did that, and then I got a job in the mailroom at ICM, where I was also, um, you know, basically like taught myself how much shit I could eat for six months. <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> Was the ICM random? Did you, or was this something you applied to? Thought it would advance your career, or was it just another it job? Was, it was like I met with some people that I had met over the last couple of years, and a couple of friends in my family. As they were like, "You should go work at an agency. That's what everyone does to figure it out." So I got myself an interview, and they said, "Okay, yeah, you know, one of the writers who was rep there, you know, vouched for me essentially." And so I went to the mailroom, and I did that for six months. I worked for an agent, and like made no money and like you know lost a bunch of hair like that's what happened sure speaking of like bad bits like my rant i feel like it's such a cliche or whatever to work your way up from the mailroom yeah. so that's really interesting that that i know a lot of people who did. have i know really? a lot of people writers executives who like it's a rite of passage of like can you survive this and then can you get out and go somewhere that's slightly better and like i know a lot of people who have interesting so it's a weird form of hazing almost. it is totally <laughs> hazing it is like grad school everyone is young most people are stupid a <laughs> lot of people are just like crazy and you you meet your people. I still have friends that I knew when I was in that mailroom who awesome. I'm friends with who are now various agents, producers, writers, et cetera. That's awesome. Yeah. Do they advertise these jobs, though? I, f- I feel like I've never... I'm always looking at, like, a- agency assistant jobs and yeah. things like that because I feel like it'd be interesting to see that side. But I mean, look, I never a, see mailroom gigs. It's there. They rotate so much because, like, the turnover is crazy. You're yeah. in there for three days and then an agent needs a new assistant and they pull someone out. So uh, it is a revolving door. So it took me... I think a month to like actually get my shot in there. It was like, eventually something will open up. Sure. You're in our rotation. So like, you know, we'll let you know. Ah. So, you know, those things do exist. And if you're patient and follow up and diligent, then they'll let you deliver mail for $27,000 a year. How much mail? <laughs> <laughs> I like when people drop numbers, by the way. Yeah. It's, I mean, I ate a lot of soup. I'll say that a lot. Much. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's so afraid of dropping numbers, but I like the candidness no. of number dropping. When it's that low, you can drop it. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't weigh much. Yeah. Wait, how much mail is there actually to, de- to deliver, though? Is I it just all headshots and I shit? I bet there's less now. I bet every year there's less. But yeah. I will say there is, yeah, it's so much. Cr- you get, like, fan mail for clients because that what? gets filtered through oh, the agency. Yeah, so I you're guess. like, oh, so-and-so, you know, this random pop star who we represent has 50 pieces of fan mail. Put it in their box. We ship it out to them at the end of the week. Like, oh. they, they, like, sift through all the bullshit, too. And then there's also legal stuff of, like, yeah. also, this is really important. This gets your client paid. So the mailroom people are like, all right, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Oh, this is a contract. Get this where it needs to go. Like, that was the fucking okay. job. That's fun. So yeah. are you writing at all during these odd jobs? or are you? Just- yeah, I wrote the whole time. Okay. Yeah, it was basically like, I'm, I got to keep writing. This is fun. I'll learn something. Maybe I'll win the lottery. And so I wrote in my spare time, like, every minute I had. 